Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to perform an analysis and review the analysis results in RAM frame. For this particular video, we are starting with a model that has already been analyzed in RAM frame, and our goal is to review the forces that are available in each lateral member after an analysis is performed. So if we were to take a look at the results toolbar, we would notice that there are several different tools available to be able to see the member force diagrams on screen, and this information is also available in report format. Let's go ahead and start with our first option here, which is to view the member forces. Now this tool will be used to display the calculated forces for all lateral members on screen. You can choose whichever load case you're interested in reviewing, and the force type, including shear, moment, axial load, and torsion. You can customize your diagrams, including adding a scale factor, and choose which lateral members to display this information for. If it makes it easier for you, you can also choose to turn off some of your other systems that you're not interested in looking at at this moment. So say, for example, I would like to hide all of my gravity members within my particular model, and this will give me some better information to view on screen. If I want to return to the previous dialog, I can right click and then I can make any modifications or hit the close button. Here, let's also go ahead and take a look at the moment. And we can also take a look at our axial load. Again, according to the currently selected load case. If you want to reset your view in between each particular command that we are entering for this video, you can go ahead and click on the reset model icon. That'll turn off all current display options. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next tool that we have available. Now this is a member force envelope tool. By clicking on this tool, we're going to see the maximum or minimum member forces for all of the frame members in the model. You can select different types of forces, whether it be shear, moment, axial or torsion, and you could display the maximum or minimum values. Once you're done reviewing your member force envelope, we can click close and then reset our model. The next thing we're going to take a look at is our analysis results diagram. Now this works fairly similarly to the member forces, except you're going to select an individual member at a time. So here, let's go ahead and select one of the lateral beam members in our moment frames. Within this dialog, I can select whichever load case I want to review. I can select which diagram I want to be able to see. So here I'm seeing this shear, the moment, and let's say axial load as well. Now for each of these diagrams, the program will automatically show you the maximum and minimum and the location for which those forces are occurring. In addition to that, we also have a slider bar at the bottom of the screen, which will allow you the information about the force or reactions at that particular location along the member you have currently selected. You can use either the slider bar or the distance in an absolute value or relative value. Let's go ahead and click close. Your cursor is staying the same, which means I can go ahead and click on another member to review the same information. The next tool we're gonna to take a look at is to review the reactions. Let's go ahead and click on this option and select a load case. Now with this tool, you can display the calculated reaction forces at each of your foundation nodes in your model. You can select different load cases and view that information along with their load arrows. You can adjust your scale factor and decide whether or not you want to show for all nodes, which will be particular for 
any type of shear walls that you have or for just your foundation nodes. Again, we can go ahead and reset the model once we're done. The next thing we're going to take a look at is our wall group forces. Now, if you set up wall groups within your model, you have the ability to see basically the summation or the resultant forces within a particular wall group. For this particular model, for each wall in each plane, I set up a different wall group number. So if I were to select a particular load case, I can click OK, and then I can see the information for each individual wall group. The last thing we're going to take a look at is that a lot of this information is also available in the reports area. And you're looking for this block of data. This will show you your member forces, wall group forces, also your summary and your envelope information. All of these reports can be viewed on screen or exported as a text file. Now this concludes the process for reviewing the forces within all our lateral members in RAM frame after a lateral analysis occurs. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.